from the latest monetary policy from the Fed and massive Dogecoin price predictions to all the latest data and updates. I'm going to talk about some very important things in this video. So let's get started. So we are now seeing that the overall market is showing some positive momentum. And we can see here that Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and others are now trading in the green during the last 24 hours. So it is good to see cryptos finally showing some positive momentum here after so many days of the downtrend. Now another positive thing we are seeing is that there is also a modest improvement in the overall market sentiment. We can see here that the Crypto Fear and Greed Index is now sitting at the 27 level, up from 24 the previous day. Although this is not a significant improvement and the overall sentiment is still sitting in the fear zone, I think that we are going to witness a change in sentiment in the coming days. So one of the main reasons why we are now seeing this positive change of sentiment among investors is that the FED has provided some certainty to them. So we are now seeing that the Federal Reserve has approved its first interest rate increase in more than three years, an increment made to address spiraling inflation without slowing the economic growth. So the Fed has now increased the interest rate by 25 basis points, and that will bring the rate now into a range of 0.25 to 0.5 percent. The move will correspond with a hike in the prime rate and immediately send financing costs higher for many forms of consumer borrowing and credit. Moreover, Fed officials indicated the rate increases will come with slower economic growth this year. And along with the rate hikes, the committee also penciled in increases at each of the six remaining meetings this year, pointing to a consensus fund's rate of 1.9% by year's end. The committee sees three more hikes in 2023 than none the following year. So what exactly we are now seeing is that the Fed has hiked rates as everyone was expecting. And it has also indicated that there are going to be three more hikes this year. So this means that the interest rates are going to rise near 1.9% by year's end, and this means that prices of many things are going to rise. So this is a good thing for cryptos as these rate hikes are going to slow the economic growth, and it is expected that investors will be coming to the crypto market. And I think this is exactly why we are currently seeing this positive momentum in the market. We can see that Bitcoin's price was able to break above the 40k price point after a brief period of volatility as FED Chair Jerome Powell announced the rate hike. Now another good thing for cryptos is that the Fed sees higher inflation and lower economic growth in 2022 than they did in December. The Fed now projects 4.3% inflation in 2022, up from 2.6% in December. The central bank expects that to decline to 2.7% in 2023 and 2.3% in 2024, but those are also above the December projections. We can see here that Fed Chair Jerome Powell has acknowledged the big jump in inflation expectations from Fed officials. He said that inflation is likely to take longer to return to our price stability goal than previously expected. So what it means is that the Fed itself believes that inflation is still going to rise and the overall economic growth will be slowed down. And this is good for cryptos because we know that investors believe in Bitcoin and others as inflation hedges. And it is expected that they are going to come to the crypto market in the long term. Meanwhile, U.S. stocks closed near-session highs after the Fed struck raised interest rates for the first time since 2018. The S&P 500 posted its biggest two-day rally since April 2020 as Powell said the economy is very strong to handle tighter policy and the probability of a recession is not particularly elevated. Similarly, Treasury yields rose, led by rates at the front end of the curve. So this is yet another positive thing for cryptos because we know that cryptos are now closely correlating with the stocks. So a positive momentum in the stock market can induce some positivity in the crypto market as well. Meanwhile, crypto analyst Michael Vandepop is saying that he is seeing good reactions of the markets, in which, first, a downwards move was happening. But it is always a fake out. And he is saying that it now seems pretty likely that Bitcoin is going to have a test at the 4 to 6k price level again. And he thinks that less heavy interest rate hikes should be positive for Bitcoin for at least a bit. All in all, this recent FONC meeting has turned out to be pretty positive for cryptos, and this is why I believe that the upcoming weeks are going to be pretty positive for the overall market. And with that being said, let's come to Dogecoin's current price movements. So we are now seeing that Doge has been showing a slight positive momentum for the last 24 hours.
However, we must note here that this is not a massive surge and it is still moving below its crucial moving averages. Besides, it is still facing strong rejection from the 14 cents resistance level. But Doge is still giving some minor bullish signals. We can see here that its MACD level has turned bullish while its daily RSI value is also sitting in the neutral zone. So these bullish indicators and the current positive scenario in the market after the Fed meeting may help Doge to break through the resistance at 14 cents. On the other hand, we are now seeing that Finder's crypto prediction panel has turned bearish on Doge for the upcoming weeks. We can see here that the expert panel remains slightly bullish on Bitcoin but turned bearish on Dogecoin, Ripple, and Litecoin in the most recent survey looking out through the week of March 28. The panel's outlook on Dogecoin is bearish, a change from the week before when it was slightly bearish. So what it means is that these experts are expecting another downtrend from Doge in the coming weeks of this month. However, it appears that even if Doge sees another downtrend from here, it is expected to initiate a bull run after it. As per popular crypto trader and analyst Alcoin Sherpa, he is waiting for more downside for Doge before thinking about pulling the trigger on it. If the analyst's expectations come to be, Doge will collapse another 54% before finding support and potentially igniting another bull run from there. Now, this is kind of a mixed analysis for Doge, but I don't think that it is going to collapse by 50%. We may see a slight downtrend from here, but the overall market sentiment and outlook are indicating that some bullish moves are on cards for Doge. And now, let's come to Bitcoin for a minute. So we are now seeing that Bitcoin has managed to break above the 40k price level during the last 24 hours. In fact, it even went past the 41k level right after the Fed announced rate hikes. However, it soon retraced back to the 40k price region. Still, it is now expected that Bitcoin is going to clear this 41k price level and find support above it. And it is highly likely because there are some bullish things happening for it. For example, we are now seeing that nearly all of Bitcoin's trading volumes consist of transactions above 100k. A report from blockchain research firm Into the Block shows that large transactions have consistently made up more than 90% of Bitcoin's trading volumes since 2020. It attributes this to growing institutional demand for Bitcoin, be it from new entrants to the market or even existing players injecting more money. So this is bullish news for Bitcoin because institutional players are now investing in it and this can provide its price with some support. Now one of the biggest bullish catalysts for Bitcoin is that Terra Luna is going to add a huge amount of Bitcoin to its reserves. The founder of Terra Luna, Du Quan has outlined plans to accumulate a whopping $10 billion worth of Bitcoin to add to the project's stablecoin reserves. Quan also bullishly emphasized that its stablecoin Terra USD backed by $10 billion plus in Bitcoin reserves will open a new monetary era of the Bitcoin standard. So this is going to be one of the largest purchases of Bitcoin. More than $10 billion are going to come into the Bitcoin market, and this is why I think that this is going to act as a huge catalyst for it. Meanwhile, the CEO of Bitstamp, Bobby Zaga, has stated that Bitcoin trading could soon become like gold trading if there is an increase in mainstream adoption. Zagata believes Bitcoin's failure to withstand the global financial market plunge was caused by an increased correlation between Bitcoin and the stock market. However, he believes that if Bitcoin could gain a higher level of mainstream adoption, it could start playing the same role as gold. All in all, we are now seeing that Bitcoin has gained the term digital gold over the years, with many stating that it can surpass gold as a store of value. So this is positive for it. And now, let's come to Ethereum for a minute. So Ethereum price action is now edging higher with significant gains. It has extended the gains for the third straight session with increasing volumes. And although more volatility is expected, the good thing is that Ethereum is pretty close to trading above the 50-day EMA. And this move can help it go above the 2.8k price level. Now another positive thing for ETH is that its active address divergence has remained in the bullish divergence area, and there is also a bullish divergence between Ethereum's daily active addresses and price movement. So this is another bullish indicator for ETH, and it is suggesting the possibility of a price uptrend. And now coming back to Dogecoin, we have just seen that the Fed meeting has injected some positivity in the crypto market.
So it appears that Doge is going to show some positive momentum in the coming days. And that's it for today's video. If you liked our content, please leave a comment in the comment section below.